walking and they take you to the cell and the door shuts. Hmm. What are you thinking? Hold that thought, Mary, before you before you say what you're thinking. Because I'm finna say what I'm thinking. It's Ray's take, again. Matter of fact, you know what? I gotta take my jacket off this one, because we finna get in. We finna, we finna dive in today. We finna dive in today. How y'all like my setup, though? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. I'm live on location a lot of places, people. Let's get to this. Ray's take part two on all of this drug stuff, man. So listen, first of all, you know what? Before we even get started, this is what I want to do. I want to give a shout out. I'm going to start doing that. You know why? Because within a week or so, this thing has completely just took off. We got Olympians coming on the show and want to be on the show and people want to talk about stuff. They want to debate. I'm loving it. But I got to make sure that I give a shout out to really everybody in that quote unquote private room that is called the Real Deal Track and Field. Why? Because this is what we really discuss all this stuff at in the Real Deal Track and Field group. Shout out to everybody that's in that group. Shout out to the administrators, the Panda Man, JD for sure. Shout out to D Knight. That's that's my homie right there. He be here like, wait, you just calm down a little bit, baby. You know, I might have to leave this one comment, but you're going in. And I'm like, all right, D, I got you, baby. I'm, I'm calming down. Monique, me and her go back and forth. I think, I think in a former life, me and her might have been brothers and sisters. And that's why we go the way we go. But it's weird because when we ran together, if you caught just me and her together, like, not like that, but I mean like downstairs eating, we really had a good relationship. We both had the same manager we first started out, Tony Campbell. So shout out to him. Shout out to all of them people. Now, part two. So guess what I went and did, y'all? I went and did some homework. I got on the phone. I call some people I know. I call some other people I know. I say, man, you know what? I'm finna do this. I'm finna do this part two to all this drug stuff and explain Ray's take on everything. Here we go. First of all, I personally don't believe that Justin Gatlin should have ever got banned. Take it how you want, I'm gonna say it again. I don't believe Justin should have ever got banned. I don't believe Christian Coleman should not be running right now. I believe Christian Coleman should be getting ready to run for, in Tokyo for America. I also believe that lady should never lost any of her medals. Not a single one. Not a single one, Craig. I also believe Tyson shouldn't have, he should get his medal back. And I also believe that John Drummond should be still able to coach. The list goes on and on on my take on how I feel and why I feel about this way, about how they miss, just, just, ooh, what you saw them doing to these people. So I'm explaining to y'all why I'm so, ooh, about all this stuff. As I told y'all in my first video, USADA's job is not to protect the athlete at all, at all. So after I did my first little video, some people hit me up like, Ray, I like where you're going with that. I like the topic you on. Here's some information for you that you might not know that they might not like. I heard you was, nah, I'm not going to say that song. But here's what they told me. They said, Ray, did you even know that USADA was a, um, a um, non-profit organization? What? Huh? Wait, 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 say that again? What do you mean? I, I mean, because I, I have a non-profit. So I, I kind of understand how non-profits work. So I said, wait a minute, what you mean USADA is a non-profit organization? So you mean they work off of, wait, 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 wait. Because non-profit means the only way you make money is, is, is off of people giving it to you. Okay, so then I started asking more questions like, well, wait a minute. If USADA is a non-profit, how they make their money? And then my source said, well, Ray, USADA makes their money off of busting athletes. Wait a minute. Say it again, man. Nah. Because I've always had this inside insight that USADA didn't like us. But I couldn't put my finger, I could not put my finger on it. Why did USADA work so hard to bust the athletes? I don't get it. And I said it in, I said it in my first video. Cross the board around the world, everybody doing it. Let's just not pretend like they're not. Let's not. Let, the one thing I always say 
when it comes to drug use and all that, your mama didn't raise no damn fool, okay? Stop embarrassing your parents. You know when you see some of this stuff and this stuff you be seeing, you know good and goddamn well it ain't really possible. You know good and well some of this stuff you don't see it ain't possible. But I'm not the one to sit here and say that it's bad that they do it, okay? But what I am going to say is it is extremely, extremely effed up when you have one country, only one country who literally is out to bust only their athletes so they can make money. Why don't that sound like America? That's America and everything. That's America in a nutshell. All America cares about, period, is money. I should have known USADA had something. I should have known USADA was only worried about the money head. So, here's what happens. Here's what I was told. I was told that what USADA don't want people to know is, out of, we'll say, 100,000 tests that they may do, out of 100,000 tests, out of 100,000 tests that they may do, the percentage of somebody failing that test is 1.3%. Do that math. 1.3% out of 100,000 is what they actually find. Okay? Get this. Nobody at USADA even talks to each other. So when y'all hearing these athletes and, and, and we complaining about, man, nobody even called me and then I didn't even know nothing about it. It's because they don't even talk to each other. The tester ain't talking to the people who are going to do the testing. You saw that ain't talking to the tester. They just got a job to do and ain't nobody on the same accord. That's one reason why a lot of us, when we go to these little arbitration here and stuff, we win. We win because you saw the just don't really do their job correct at all. And what you saw the continuously does what USADA continuously does is do whatever they can to make money off of the athletes. Okay, so now that I cleared that up, we're going to go right here. Why USADA completely wronged Marion Jones. Why Marion Jones should not have lost a single medal. Before I explain that, let me tell this part. Because I found this out yesterday too from the inside source. I found out that Usada, Wada, Jada, Bada, Kata, Fada, Mada, Ada, all of the Adas don't none of them even talk to each other. None of them talk to each other. Not a single one of them. Wada don't talk to Usada. Usada don't talk to Wada. Wada don't talk to Jada. And they all their own entities. They don't even work together. They don't even work together whatsoever. Which makes sense now. Makes perfect sense. Stay with me, okay? Just stay with me. I told y'all, get pull up a seat for this one, all right? So here's, what, here's what's going on. If Marion Jones has to give back her Olympic medals, it's because of why? Because she cheated? No, she didn't cheat. She didn't cheat at all. She beat y'all system. And because she beat the system, that is what pissed them off. Marion Jones didn't go to jail for cheating and PEDs. Marion Jones went to jail for money laundering. She went to jail for money laundering, not PEDs. Okay? Clear it up. Get it right. She did not lie about the PEDs in court. Even though the Washington Post will even say she did. What really happened was she lied during the investigation. This is what my sources told me. Now, I'm just saying, I wasn't there, but this is what my sources told me. My sources told me that Marion Jones lied during the investigation, but then when she got in court, she admitted in court because she was on the oath, okay? Now, she admitted the PEDs in court, but she lied about the money laundering in court. She went to jail for the money laundering. So now again, to me, to me, to me, if, if I done passed every one of your damn drug tests that you gave me, if I done passed every single one of them, you gonna have to take this L. I don't give a damn if I did say I did it. You ain't getting shit back. Why you ain't getting it back? Because you didn't catch me. I'm not gonna just come back. Well, here you go. You're not taking my stuff, man. Why? You can't get mad at me because you know I do your damn job. How you gonna get mad at me because I'm finna come back and tell you, hey, you know what? Truth <laughs> be told, man, I, I, man, I was on all that shit, man. Y'all, y'all can catch me. 
Jay Z do it on every damn album. He literally says, "I got here by selling dope." Do you see anybody knocking on his door to take back his his cars, his houses? No, it's not how it works. If you didn't catch me, you can't touch me. Period. USOC should have never touched her damn medals. They touched the medals because they was mad as hell because once again, they were exposed, okay? So what do you do when you get exposed? Keeping in mind, USADA is a nonprofit organization. So if people who are, you know, I don't know who's funding them, comes to find out that they're not doing their job, how do they keep their funding? They can't. So what do they do? They, they, they literally ride the coattail of the damn federal government because USADA had nothing. They had nothing. What She passed the test. So if she passed the test, what do you have to convict me and take my medals back? You have nothing. So what happened was when the courts went after her for the money laundering, then USADA, uh, uh, let, let me just go on. Let's go on and get on this coattail too then because it'll help us out. Because if we bust her, then they're going to make us look really, really, really good. When in reality, that's, you should have been trying to protect her like every other country. We'll get to that. I told y'all this was going to be a little long. Marion should not have had to give up any of her medals because USADA don't know how to do their damn job. And their job is only to bust us. Well, them, I'm Nigerian now. Just to get money to stay open. All right. So now. I know you didn't ask me, but I know you're gonna ask, you, you want to ask me. So I'm going to tell you, okay? What you want to ask me is, well, Ray, what you mean water and USADA don't talk? I'm going to tell you what I mean by that. Water don't really give a damn about how USADA test. Water don't really give a damn about how JADA test. Water, as you can see, didn't give a damn about how the Russians test. Why? The damn Russians, they admitted we've been doping for since the 80s. <laughs> they whole country like, well, we've been doing this shit since the 80s. Y'all just not catching on. We've been doing this shit. Y'all is late. So how is it, how is it that if we just start to think, what country has had more athletes stripped, banned, suspended than any other country on the planet when it comes to track and field? What country? Go ahead and name it out. Go ahead. You don't have to name it out. I'm telling you country it is. It's the one that I'm filming in right now. It's this country. It is this country right here. So, I'm going to tell y'all a little story. I'm going to tell y'all a story. I'm going to get serious for a second. The year was 2009, actually. I was at the height of my career. I was doing real damn good for myself. Made the world championship team and everything. So I'm in, I'm in Germany. I'm in Cologne, Germany. You know, stationed there. If you know what you call it, that's where we was camping at. So um, I'm looking for a chiropractor, right? So I get on the little, the little internet back then, because we didn't have Twitter and all that stuff. Get on the internet, I'm looking for a chiropractor. I find a chiropractor. He was in walking distance. So I go, ding dong, to the chiropractor. I walk in, hey man, I'm trying to get an adjustment. And he like, okay, uh, who are you? And I'm like, um, I'm on Xavier's Ray Elvis. <gasps> I just, you're Ray Elvis. I just, I just, I just watched you on TV. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah that was me, yeah. But I just want to get an adjustment. Oh, man, come on, let me, let me adjust you, let me adjust you, yada, yada. So he goes adjustment everything. After that, he like, hey, you hungry? I'm like, yeah, sure, I'm hungry, let's do it. He take me out to get something to eat. He like, man, what you doing here? I'm like, well, I'm just really here. Oh, uh, cause my agent got us stationed here, me and a couple of other track people that in my camp, we just here hanging out, you know. Cool, he's a huge track fan. Take me to dinner and everything. Drop him back off. He said, what you got going on tomorrow? I said, man, I ain't got nothing going on. I just got practice or whatever. That's about it. You want to go to lunch? I said, man, let's do it. <laughs> I'm in your country, baby. Come on. Come on. He done came and picked me up in an R8 and everything. So the man come pick me up. He take me to a soccer match. Bio Munich versus somebody in Germany. There's another little small team, 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 whatever. Come find out he was the chiropractor for this little small team that Bio Munich was beating up on. I'm going to speed my story up. So then, you know, we get to talking about world championships. They get to asking me about Bolt, how I feel about Bolt and stuff like that. You know, I'm always keeping 100. Hey, man, the dude fast. You know, it's easy what it is. He do what he do. I ain't got nothing to do with none of that. You know what I'm saying? Now, this story ain't got nothing to do with Bolt, okay? I'm just preface it that way. And when I, I'm finna tell y'all this story, 
If I'm lying, God, please strike me down right now on this national TV. Well, it's not national TV yet because I'm making national TV, but strike me down this video. I do not want these folks to think I'm making this shit up. Here's what happened. The dude, I'm just going to fast forward the story. He said, hey, man, how you feel about running as fast as boat? Who you talking, who you talking to? You talking to me? How, you, uh, how I feel, bro? What do you mean how I feel? I feel... I would love to run as fast as a boat. What are you talking about? I think we can help you with that. Bing dong. Oh, really? <laughs> so, so I said, okay. Well, we'll talk about it tomorrow. So I go back to the little dorm we staying at. I ain't going to drop no names, but it's another person in the room with me. He was a hurdler. My agent represented him at the time. I wake him up. I say, bro, you is not going to believe what just happened. Man, I think these folks tried to offer me some drugs. <laughs> I told him straight up, I said, man, I think these folks tried to offer me some drugs. I said, we'll find out tomorrow, though, because they want me to come to this dinner and meet this lady, right? But I want you to go with me. True story. I wish I could tell y'all who it is, but I'm not here to name drop. But whenever he see this video, he going to know I ain't making this shit up. Because I took him there with me just for this reason. We good there. It's a nice little fancy restaurant and all this stuff. Y'all got the yard. I'm sitting down. I'm eating. They're taking care of me. I say, but look, let's get down to business. I say, let's say I want to do this. Let's say I want to do this, whatever y'all trying to do for me, and I want to take down the boat. How do I do it? At this moment, my hurdler I had with me, I tapped him on his foot like this. Ooh, ooh. Listen up. So, dude sits up. He's like, okay, let's get to the chase. He says, we'll need you to come here roughly in October, during your off season. We would keep you here from October to December. We would give you everything you need during October to December. You do your off season training here and then we'd send you back. And then you'd have a kid to go back with you. And you would take this, this, and that, that from December to um, through your training in March. And then you have another stuff to take in April. So then I'm like, well, what, what you mean in April? How, how can I take something during track season? And then this is when the lady Steps up. I'm not making this shit up, y'all. I swear for God and everything I love, I'm not making this shit up. She speaks up. And she's like, well, we would take care of that. And I'm saying, like, who this is? Who, who, who this lady is? So then she goes to explain who she is. And she works for water. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Y'all, I'm going to look y'all dead in y'all eyes and tell y'all what this lady told me at that table. She looked me dead in my eyes and she said, well, it's very simple, right? When your pee come through there and we know it's yours, we don't even test it. Wait, wait, say that again? What you mean? I, I, I didn't catch it, what you said. And I did time, I'm, uh, uh, hit, my, hit my boy again. Say it again, you say, well, you know, that's how we do everybody's. You know, if you're somebody and it's something that, you know, we, we, we protect you, we take care of you. So when it comes through with your name on it, we just push it through, and then we just test the rest of them. Y'all, I sat there, and I was like, man, this sounded like a good deal. I like this deal. I might want in on this deal. Let me get back to y'all. As soon as I left the table, I said, oh, ain't no way in hell I'm doing that shit, bro. What the hell? They trying to know, but I know. Oops, shit, I slipped up and said the boy's name. But anyway, I said, man, look, I ain't, there's no way I'm going to do nothing this shit. I ain't going to do this shit. I'm not going to do this at all. At all, bro. At all, at all. I just wanted the facts. I just wanted to hear them folks tell me what I already knew. Now, when I sit here and say, them folks is out there dirty, them folks ain't out there dirty. Them folks is out there making money. I start calling folks dirty after that. After that, I was like, well, this ain't nothing but a damn mob. This ain't nothing but a damn mob. That's literally what I started thinking at that very moment. And at that very moment, my whole track and field career changed because what I thought was a myth was no longer a myth. I literally knew these folks was actually on PEDs and was getting away with it. I literally knew at that point. So I tell folks, if you just look at my track career, the minute I started going boo -boo, downhill was after 2010 when I found out the truth. When I found out the truth, I lost all love for the sport. Real talk. I looked at it now, it's nothing but a business, which is why I switched to Nigeria. That ain't nothing but a business. I'm going with the money at now. Why? Because there's nothing I can really do anymore because I've been exposed to what's really going on. Okay? So now, we're really back in. I had to tell y'all that. 
I'm gonna really back in. I'm gonna really back in. I'm gonna really back in. Now, here's the most important part. When it comes to these testing protocols, not a single country, to my understanding from my sources that I was told last night, not a single country has the exact same protocol for testing. Not a single one. So the, the testing protocol or the testing kit that USADA might use, it ain't the same one that JADA uses. The one that JADA uses, it ain't the same one that whatever country over there is using. They not the same one. So now just start to think a little bit for yourself. Think outside the box. What country got all the resources to do whatever they want to do with any type of testing? It's America. Okay, so if I'm in a smaller country, I don't know why I'm going to keep picking on Jamaica, but I got to because that's just them. So what they testing procedures is like? Nowhere even close to ours. So let me make sure I get this straight. There is not a cross-the-board testing? No, there's not. So you mean tell me the same test kit that USADA uses, JADA ain't using? That is correct. So, so what you also telling me is, so that means when I go to an actual championship or something like that, and WADA's testing me, that's not even the same testing that they, no. All of them do their own different style of testing. So wait a minute. So 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 basically what I'm saying is the reason why all these folks need to get their medals back is because the shit ain't fair. It is not fair. It is not fair at all 100% because the playing field is not equal. It's not equal whatsoever. You can't have a, a stricter testing protocol in America than they do in Jamaica. You cannot do that. It's not fair. That's literally not fair whatsoever. You can't have a certain testing protocol in Jamaica that Great Britain ain't got. That's not fair. Why is that not fair? Because we're all training for the same damn thing. One, one goal, world championships or Olympic games. Everybody's trying to get on the same final. Everybody's trying to get on the same line. But you mean to tell me if I'm here, you're going to test my P for eight things? And if I'm Jamaican, you might not even test my P, period? And when we get to the damn ship, if my name is a big name, you're going to pass my piss through anyway? Nah, get these four day medals back. Get Tyson his shit back. Let Coleman all suspension. Get Mary and all her stuff back. J they owe Justin six years of his whole damn life. Uh, ben, put Ben back in the goddamn Hall of Fame. He shouldn't even be, be ooh, the stuff I heard about Ben and, and, and what they did to him is so, ooh, it's so, ooh. America did that, Jack. Tell you that now. You don't have to believe me if you don't want to believe me, but this is Ray's take. This is what I do. I go find the information, I go find the truth, and I bring it to this thing called my show. I told you I had to pull up today. Man, listen. The phone call I had last night, I was in utter shock. I was in utter shock. I've been in this sport for a long time. I knew a lot of stuff was going on. Phone call I had last night, all it did was solidify. It just solidified everything I already knew. I already knew. I forgot. JD, John Roman. This video is going to be long because I can't cut this out. There's no way in hell. JD should never been banned. No way. JD should never been banned. Tyson should still have all his medals and everything. Here's the reason why I'm saying JD should never been banned. How you gonna get somebody an eight year ban, right? An eight year coaching ban for a first offense? Wait a minute. And I'm not finished. What I'm about to say, what I'm about to say, okay? Again, I ain't trying to throw nobody on the bus at all. I'm just putting it out there. I can right now name off the top of my head three coaches, three, who's had multiple run-ins with the drug law. But they ain't been stopped at all. I can name a coach right now who done had a run-in with the drug law. 
Twice. He's still coaching. So why is it that JD got eight years? So let's just let's just let's just press rewind and and put things in perspective of what JD was doing prior to him getting an eight year ban. I'm gonna make it plain and simple for you, and not take up too much time. The man was putting money in the pockets of the athletes. So what happens when the money is going to pockets of the athletes? Where is it not going now? Go ahead, think about it. Think about it. JD put JD made them folks put up so many millions of dollars to give to the athlete. Not only that, he was stepping up and making changes for athletes. Not only that, he got Team USA back on the podium in the relay. Not only that, he broke the damn world record for women's four by one. Okay, so let me let me say this again. So. You're, 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 you're an outstanding um, Team USA coach. You're an outstanding athlete representative because you're trying to put money in the pockets of the athletes and take it out the hands of everybody else. You're speaking for the athletes. How the hell do you get an eight-year ban? Is it that somebody didn't want you to be doing no... Is it the fact that somebody up there did not want you to be taking money out of their pockets and put it in the pockets of the athletes. That's exactly why they got rid of JD. This is my damn show. I said I won't say on my show whether y'all believe it, take it or not. That's why they got rid of John Drummond. They got rid of John Drummond because JD was actually making changes. He was actually making putting money in folk pocket and they used Tyson as a, as a tool to get it done. Because Tyson didn't even... The man, Tyson, didn't know nothing about no damn drugs. I've been knowing Tyson 20 years. I know the whole story. The whole, the entire story. From the, from the minute that he got the phone call and called me to us talking about it from the beginning of the damn vitamins they were supposed to be. The all-natural vitamins they were supposed to be. Never knew. Never had a clue. They used Tyson against JD. Damn it, I said it on my show. I don't give a damn who y'all gonna tell. Can't nobody stop me. This is my show. I don't run for America. America don't pay me. I can say whatever the hell I want to say on my damn show. It's Ray's tape. And I'm telling you like I know it, like I think to be, and everything I'm putting together. They got rid of JD only because the man was trying to put money in our pockets. They used Tyson to throw him underneath the bus. That's why, not that Tyson did it. I'm just saying Tyson did not throw him underneath the bus. The powers that be convinced Tyson to do it this way, to say something this way, and then he telling the truth, but not understanding. He telling the truth, and it's like, damn, how you going to punish Tyson for telling the truth, but then his truth don't match up with this truth because you asked them two different questions. You asking JD one set of questions. You asking Tyson one set of questions. They not matching up. Why you not matching up? Because you asking two different questions to two different people. Oh, I don't went digging, people. I told y'all. It's a real show. This is a real show. I'm going to do the dirty work. I'm going to say the stuff nobody want to say. I'm going to go. I don't give a damn. It's Ray's take. Okay? I'm going to sum it up. This whole 30 minute damn video. This is an amazing poster. Amazing. She's gone now. But she need all her medals back. Damn USADA. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. I can't say. I'm at the end of that part. I probably can't say that. I probably should not have said it at all. Uh, I just say they got some work they need to do to clean some stuff up to make things more fair. Um, yeah, WADA. I think I think you guys are doing an amazing job. Um, yeah, yeah, totally, totally. It's very sarcastic, but whatever. Um, these things are real, people. These things are real. These are things that, that actually are going on in our sport. So what I'm asking y'all to do is stop taking that on the athletes. Don't get mad. When you find out that Christian Coleman can't run, don't get mad at Christian. Get mad at them. Don't be mad at Justin. Be mad at them. Don't be mad at Marion. Don't be mad at no don't be mad at nobody. Why? They didn't do it. And what I mean by they didn't do it, all they did was what they was trying to do to make sure they can hang on with everybody else who's doing it. And I don't see nothing wrong with that. What I do see something wrong with is the fact that 
this testing shit ain't, ain't, ain't across the board the same for everybody. So with that in mind, there's some answers that need to be, or well, let me say it right, there's some questions that need to be answered by USADA, WADA. I'm just curious. I got a couple questions. Like, mainly, why the hell it ain't across the board the same for testing? And my real question is, are you really trying to clean up the sport? Because if you was really trying to clean up the sport, you would probably be trying to keep people in the sport, but charge them for what they do. Then they would think twice about taking anything like every other sport. Track and field is the only sport to where you can do something and they kick you out, which is backwards as hell. What good does that do for the fan base? Football, baseball, basketball, all these other sports, what do they do? Hiya, $25,000 fine. We'll see you at the game next week, though. Do it again. Hiya, $25,000 fine. Don't worry, we'll see you next week, though. At some point, you gonna get it then. If that's track and field, if that is track and field, this is what my sources told me, like, this is the best way to do it, right? And I was like, you know what, you're right. If track and field would stop kicking athletes out, because that's a gamble that we that we, we wouldn't take that gamble, and start finding athletes, that's a gamble we ain't want to take. Because first of all, if you only making 15000 20000 a year, you think you're going to risk a $20,000 fine? I don't think so. Okay, you say, well, the top dog's making a million dollars a year. If you're making a million dollars a year, then guess what? It's by tier. We're about to find you 100000 now. Why? You got it. You got $100,000. Cough it up. That's your fine. You want to fix a sport? That's what you do. You know they're not doing that? Because they really don't want to fix the damn sport. So I say give everybody that got doggone medals back, get rid of testing all together, and let it be a damn free-for-all. As it should be. And that's my take.